Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, Jeff back here with another Head to Head beer review. I uh, hope you guys liked uh, the old ale videos that I did, and now I'm going to start getting into um, some Belgians because I noticed that I picked up a lot of them, but I haven't really reviewed many, so I uh, want to get into them. So this bottle I've had since December, or no, no, beginning of January. I picked it up over Christmas break um, for about three bucks, I think, or something like that. Um, and I didn't really know anything about it, but I saw only, only saw one bottle, so I thought I wouldn't have a chance to. Uh, pick up another one, but little did I know that it had just came out and it would be at a lot of other places. Um, but this is Rayon Vert from Green Flash Brewing Company, and I like um, a lot of the other Green Flash. I haven't had a bad Green Flash beer yet, so I thought I would uh, give this one a try. Um, so this is their Belgian Pale Ale, and I mean, from from what I hear, it's their take on Orval because they brew with uh, Britannomyces, um, which is uh, a yeast. Um, but that imparts kind of like a funky flavor um, to the beer. Um, so I think this is more of a West Coast Belgian pale ale um, type beer. But it be interesting. Let's go ahead and crack this one open and uh, I'll let you guys know how it is. It's got a normal uh, green flash cap, as you can see there. Pretty cool. And I'm using my Hennepin glass. Alright, got a little bit of the yeast, but it's not too bad. Um, it's got a beautiful golden orange color. Um, almost looks like an IPA, um, American IPA, um, but just an insane amount of carbonation in this one. Really fine bubbles. Um, it's got kind of a one finger soapy white, eggshell white head. Um, just a ton of carbonation streaming up from the bottom, and this one doesn't, this glass doesn't even have one of those little. Um, laser etched things, so this is just really pretty looking. Um, slight haziness, um, but I did pour a little bit of the yeast in, um, but not much of it. Um, more golden towards the bottom, and then uh, more orangey uh, copper color towards the top, but it really looks really pretty. Let's go get this one. I mean, it's got that uh, great Belgian character um, that you're getting from the yeast. I don't. I really don't get that much of the, the funkiness. Um, that you uh, would expect from a beer with Britannomyces in it. But I'm, I'm getting some spicy notes like you get in a lot of these Belgians, uh, maybe some clove or other uh, spices. And a, a slight floral note that I, uh, um, I guess is coming from the West Coast hops. Um, but it really smells really good. Nothing, um, I mean, reminds me of, uh, of a Duval, kind of in the smell, uh, maybe a little bit uh, spicier. Um, but let's go ahead and give this one a taste. Cheers. Yeah, you definitely get the funkiness a lot more in the and the flavor than uh, you do in the smell. Yeah, it's a really interesting flavor. I mean, it's um, it's got a slight lactic uh, quality from the um, from the from the bread, and then it kind of smooths out into more of a, a Belgian character. But it's got kind of a dry puckering finish towards the end. You can tell that the hops are there um, for the bittering, um, but it's it's the, it's not overpowering, and it's not like a, a West Coast pale ale or or anything like that. Yeah, this beer has an interesting mouthfeel because it's got a crazy amount of carbonation. Um, it's kind of like drinking uh, champagne, um, at least in the mouthfeel. And as you can see, it still has got like a crazy amount of lacing and everything. This is just this is just a really interesting beer. There's not a lot of beers out there like this. Uh, I'm going to sip on this one for a little bit longer, and then I'm actually going to pour the rest of the yeast into it and see how that uh, changes the taste, and then I'll give you guys my final verdict. All right, guys, so it's been about 10 or 15 minutes. Um... And I guess it was uh, kind of colder before because now that it has uh, has warmed up some, the the citrusy and piney uh, ness of the hops is coming forward a lot more, um, which I know is a lot different than um, in a lot of Belgian pale ales. They have more of a quote unquote delicate finish um, of hops, but um, this one really uh, showcases the hops um, as well as the bread, and I, I really think that that's an interesting adaptation that I haven't um, experienced before. Um, so this one is 7% alcohol, and you're not getting any of that um, that booze in there. And as it is now, I'm, I'm going to give it an A-. minus. I think this is a really good beer. Um, I mean, like I said before, the smell is kind of like Duval, but the taste is nothing like that. Um, I'm really looking forward to trying Orval um, now after having this, because this is really this is really enjoyable. Um, so as it is now, yeah, A minus, uh, and then I'm going to do one more thing, and uh, I haven't seen someone do this before, at least with this beer, so I just wanted to try it out and uh, see how it goes. Alright guys, so I poured in the rest of the yeast, um, 
into the bottle because it obviously was bottled condition. So it is extremely hazy now, can't see through it at all, kind of recircled the, uh, recirculated the head a little bit. It's about a finger and a half now. Still super fine uh, and just super cloudy now. So I'm going to give it a, one more uh, taste and a quick The smell hasn't really changed much. Still uh, that good Belgian character, a slight spiciness, and not too much of the hops. All right, I'm going to give it one more taste. Yeah, it's a lot funkier now, and it definitely um, not as much of the hops uh, are showcased. Yeah, it kind of gives it a little bit of a weird aftertaste, um, but it kind of makes it smoother, which is weird, and I don't know, uh, really know how to describe that, but it, it um, but it, it kind of takes away from a lot of the flavor, so I wouldn't say that I necessarily recommend that, um, for people, but maybe do it towards the end, just to see, like, how it, uh, how it changes it, but initially I liked it without the bees in it, so, so this has been Rayon Vert from Green Flash out of San Diego. Um, and I'll come back with some more um, Belgian beers this week. Um, got some special ones and some ones I'm really excited about reviewing. So, till next time, cheers.